and good morning it is monday of uh week four so we're reaching the end um it was a little rough last night because we had to be up we got to be at the van for 6 45 a.m and being in p.m i'm usually still asleep right now so yeah we have our last test today so people were kind of up stressing about it last night and studying for it um y'all have that have been around here for a while i know how i feel about the exams um i feel like especially after taking the first exam too that it's not going to be as bad as people think or is that even I think. I feel pretty confident on multiple choice exams and all our proficiencies are done really at this point. This is like the last academic hurdle and then we have our OEs on Wednesday. So I have three legs so I'll be able to work in every position um so that i'm looking forward to and then i already have my first flight scheduled um for when i am on the line i have my teaching this weekend and i didn't really talk to y'all about it but um raft rolling went well <laughs> but oh my gosh if it did not tire you out and already having to like stay awake you know for like 12 hours and that's usually a day that we have off to kind of recover um it was rough getting through that day being in the room for like six hours but uh the activities that we did that day were actually very useful so i mean all in all it was good and so we only had really one day to relax and we had a test the following day so really it was like you can relax for like half the day and then get to studying because it's about to get real again. I'm just trying to finish up getting ready now to head to the bus. So this week, and it's so funny because this was like our first time really seeing the AM class today for some reason, at least for me. This was like my first time actually seeing them like for real, for real, because I even like studied with some of them and like, this was literally my first time introducing myself to a, a decent amount of them. So we do a lot of things together this week. We have a lot of like guest speakers and we learn about a lot of things <laughs> that's important like bidding and schedules and stuff like that. And so those speakers we obviously have together. So we kind of had to start earlier and they kind of get to start later. So they're like, ooh, six. 45 we get to sleep in and i'm like jesus take the wheel all right so this is me last day in regular clothes and so yeah let's get on this bus let's ace this test and finish out the certs being a flight attendant wish me luck guys it's picture day how do i look okay so Okay, the van leaves in like 10 minutes, so I really just want to pop in and say hey, show all my makeup, because y'all know I don't know how to do makeup. I really just popped out some lipstick today, and I think I did the trick, so here we go. <laughs> hey Sky fam, what is up? It's your girl Ariel Rose, and welcome back to my channel. Make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe to come along with me on my second flight, attorney, flight attendant journey. Yes, so... Just to catch y'all up a little bit, um, so tomorrow I go on my OE. So what's different about this than my previous company, my regional, is that there we waited until we were fully graduated. I had to wait about three weeks before I finally went on my IOE is what they called it. And um, <clears throat> it was a whole trip. We were paid for it. And... Um, it was a good experience, I think, but here we have our OE. I have three legs tomorrow that I will be flying on an aircraft 
with a regular degular crew um, and I have to not fiend for myself but I have to be able to show my abilities tomorrow um, we are not paid for it and it's only one day but I will have three legs so I will work in every position and it's happening while I'm in training so that way as soon as I graduate there's not this break in which I'm just not unemployed but employed but not working I go straight into working so even my first trip is already on my schedule like I already see my next three-day trip um, so that is very nice that is something I do really like about it um, so yeah I am the last person literally solely by myself I am the last person to leave for their OE tomorrow in my entire class how that ended up happening don't know don't ask me I will be fully by myself tomorrow I'm going to double check actually I'll check right now okay so tomorrow <clears throat> I have three legs I'm going Dallas to Birmingham Birmingham to Orlando Orlando back to Dallas so three legs I'll work each position on each leg my last flight is my longest flight and so I think I'll make that my a position on that last flight I might do that I don't have any really long sits and I have an eight hour and 40 minute duty day according to this so um yeah uh, some of my classmates have like 11 hour duty days it comes down to I think the FAA requires like at least five hours of flying or something like that minimum so I definitely have over that oh okay so I just got my nails done but I was literally just in the bathroom at the nail salon and it dawned on me out of nowhere I saw my lipstick again I had like bright red lipstick on as you saw earlier and um I realized this is the first time I'm going to be on an aircraft and I don't have to wear a mask. Like, and that is so crazy to me. And then at the same time, it's crazy that that's crazy to me because like that was our norm. I'm a sea baby when it comes to, you know, being a flight attendant. Like I went to training just a year ago when we still had an ample amount of protocols in place where we were even in pods like my whole class never saw each other because of just um procedures and precautions with the panorama um and so now this is the first time i will literally be on an aircraft and not have to wear one and that's so interesting it literally happened while we were in training so like how we're learning pas we even had to like take little sections out of our pas that we had learned because the ruling passed while we were here so it's been very interesting and i think that'll be very interesting to experience next year because or not next year but tomorrow <laughs> because <clears throat> it's no longer my my norm as an employee on an aircraft so yeah that will definitely be interesting we'll see how that works i've literally even flying here even when i flew here it was still required and so i haven't even flown at all in the last i don't know ye two years <clears throat> whenever it became required on planes like i'm looking forward to tomorrow um i'm gonna start packing up some of my things when i'm done talking to y'all um there's just some things i'm not gonna end up wearing again before i leave so today's tuesday i graduate friday and i'm dipping on out and i'm going home and y'all know i'm happy about that for two reasons okay when i finally get to leave texas i'll be out of texas i'll be out of dallas <laughs> texans argue with me in the comments if you want to but we're not gonna do that okay anyways and then for two, it means I'm going to have my wings and I'm going back to my life um, that I truly enjoy. Like, I truly don't see myself doing any other job, but like, that's me going off topic. Yeah, I'll go over some PAs. That's maybe like the biggest thing. And that's, I think I mentioned that even in my very first videos that my biggest thing was the PAs and the proficiencies. I'm completely done with proficiencies. I'm completely done with exams. There is literally nothing else academically that I have to do. This last thing is the OE. It's completely in the hands 
of the fellow flight attendants that I would be on the line with. Here, like, it's literally like a part of your process. Like, you haven't graduated yet until you do your OE, and you're literally going out on the line with fellow, um, you know, coworkers and people that you're flying with, like, people you're really gonna be out on the line with. And it does say a lot, because, you know, you want to be someone strong on the line. And while you won't necessarily be in the beginning, because, like, I know there's gonna be a learning curve for me there's already been a massive learning curve for me and so but you want to be out on the line with people that are competent about their job like you don't want to be out on the line with someone that just simply does not know what they're doing and so I think it's good that you know we are kind of graded upon by our coworkers, by the people that we're literally going to be working with um it's not just instructors it's not just leads you know it's not it's literally someone you could fly again with if you were based here um you know on your first trip honestly so yeah i'm looking forward to it i think it'll be good um i'm gonna be my report is like 12 something noon something and then i'm not gonna get back my release isn't until 9 30 i think something like that and so um i have a pretty long day tomorrow i mean not as long as these classes let's talk about it but anyways so <laughs> so i have a kind of long day tomorrow but i know it'll feel so good to be back on the aircraft again like <laughs> I can't wait, yo. I cannot wait to be back on the plane actually serving passengers and just living that life again. I can't even, I can't wait to walk through the airport again, okay? I cannot wait to walk through the airport. Walking through the airport as a flight attendant, you can't tell me nothing. I don't care. I don't care. You can't tell me nothing. Lil Duval, you're right. Lil Duval, you're right. We do walk through the airport like we the baddest in the club and we not sorry about it and we not apologizing right right that's for my ladies that's for my men because we had all of our guys take a picture today and i was like all oh, our boys we have a decent amount of guys in our class and diverse there's diversity across our men as well and i love that i love seeing that so i can't wait to be out on the line with my classmates um, a lot of us did get based in the same <laughs> base so it's quite possible I'll talk to y'all tomorrow before I leave out for my OE and I'll try to vlog that a little bit as much as I can and I'll probably be able to vlog that more than I've been able to vlog the rest of my process um, and yeah wish me luck